Hello, hello. Welcome to Mark and Family Gaming. Okay, and like, I'm sick. Kenny's been feeling a little sick lately, but he said he wanted to play Dice Throne, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a fun game, huh? So Dice Throne is a game where you can play head-to-head, -head, 1v1, or you can play multiple people. Obviously, today we're playing 1v1. I'm playing the Moon Elf, and Kenny, who are you playing today? I'm playing as the... The Barbarian? Yeah, barbarian. All right. I need go potty. <laughs> All right. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Pretend like it's... I need to go potty, guys. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm starting. Yep. I hit back here right once. All right. So we're back to Dice Throne. Yeah. And we, we paused because I need to go pee. And I'm sick. That's why when, when we paused it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. like we were saying. Say like. Say it out loud. I, I'm sick, guys, and like, um, like you say that like when you after said like when I said sick. Yeah, Kenny's been a little sick lately, but um, he still said he wanted to play a game, so he picked the dice thrown off the shelf. So we're gonna give it a go. Okay. Yes. In this game, we're playing a head-to-head -head battle. We each have 50 health. Um, we each start with two combat points. And basically the way that it goes on your turn, you're going to have an upkeep phase where um, you remove any applicable status effects that have hit you. You have an income phase where your combat points are going to increase. Your combat points are what you pay to play the cards out of your hand. We each start with four cards in our hand. Yeah. And then we have the main phase where we choose to play some of those cards where we can upgrade some, some of our attacking abilities. And then after that main phase, we go into the offensive role where we're going to target uh, our opponent and we're going to roll our five dice and you roll them in a Yahtzee style mechanic where you roll, choose which ones you want to keep, re-roll the other ones, and then you get one more re-roll. So two re-rolls after the main roll. Um, you see what dice faces you have, what attacks you can do. You declare your attack against your opponent. Your opponent may be able to play some cards which will adjust the die roll, um, and then they get a chance to defend. For instance, Kenny's Barbarian has thick skin, right? And it says you get to roll three dice and you get to heal two times the number of hearts you roll, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So then we go back to the main phase where if we have any other um, cards that we wanted to play. Um, and then there's a discard phase where you have to discard down to six cards. You have to end your turn with six cards or less. Um, you can also discard cards during the main phase to gain a CP per card you discard. So those are basically the mechanics of the game. Each of us have some abilities that we'll talk about when they come out during the game. Um, but it's first to knock the other person out, to get them down to zero. You ready to go? Yep. All right. You want to go first or should I go first? I'll go first. All right. So since you're going first, you don't get your CP. You skip the up. You skip, you skip the income phase so you don't get a new card. So go ahead and play any cards you want to play. Discard. So remember, the orange cards, they're cards that help with your dice roll. If you're going to play a card on your board, they're the blue cards. The blue cards upgrade your attacks. So that lets you re-roll the dice one more time. So that's one you're going to want to keep, okay? Okay. Do you have any blue cards in your hand? Um, I have two. Okay, so Vegas, baby, that says roll, your di roll one die and you're gonna gain combat points equal to half of the roll. All right, so you got a two, so what's what's two divided by two? What's half of two? Um, what plus what equals two? One, um, two. Does one plus one equal two? One yes. plus, yep, so you get one combat point because you get half. So now you're up to three combat points. That goes over to your discard. Do you have any other blue cards in your hand you wanna play or? Anything else you want to upgrade? You've got a concussion, so you can you give me a concussion. So that costs you one combat point, so go down to two. <laughs> and you inflict me with a concussion. And what that says, a player afflicted with this token must skip their income phase and then remove this token. So I won't get an income phase at the start of my turn either. All right, anything else you want to do? Or do you just want to go ahead and attack? Um. 
This one and a tap. All right, so roll your dice. All right, so then you try to pick which attack you're going to do. Um. So you got a couple of swords, you got a couple of hearts, and a pal. Pal. So I got, what's these called? Swords. No, and swords? Yep, life and pal. So I'll choose pal. Okay, well remember, you've got to put these dice together to do one of these attacks. You match the symbols. So I'll do like. You remember, you've got two re-rolls also. So I have two. So like right now, you've got two swords and one pal. Mm -hmm. You could try to roll and get another pal if you wanted. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, so you got two hearts again. So roll. you got one more re-roll now. All right, so you got four swords. So you don't get to do this attack, but what do you get to do with four swords? How many damage does four mm -hmm. swords do? Six damage. All right. So I get to defend. So I'm going to roll my defense dice. And I've got one, two, three of those and one of these. Well, I have to roll two feet to prevent damage. I didn't get that. I rolled two bows. So that does one damage to you. So you take one damage and I take six. So which one should I take down? So 50 minus one is how much? What is one down? So you go down to 49. Yep. All right. So this is my turn now. I remove this concussion, but I skip my income phase. Now it's my turn to play cards. I've only got two combat power. Um, so I can't really play anything out of my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my attack phase, okay? I'm going to roll my five dice. All right, I got a bow and a bow and a moon and two feet. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to go for this covered shot. I need one more foot. So I get one roll, I got a bow, I get one more roll. I got the foot. So I do seven damage, this is my covered shot. I gain evasive, which could let me dodge one of your attacks, and I'm hitting you for seven. So you roll your defense, which is roll three dice. You're using your thick skin, so you get to roll three. Here, I'll put these two over here. So roll those three. So. Yep, you're trying to get hearts. Okay, you didn't get any hearts, so you don't get to block any damage. So you go down seven. So we go down seven, look. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now it's your turn. You get to get, you gain a combat point at the start of your turn. So go up to three. You get to draw a card. I've got two. Okay. Now you get to draw a card. Draw a card from your deck. Draw two cards? Just one. Okay. Do you have any blue cards that you want to play or you just want to go on to your attack? Um, no blue cards. All right, so you're gonna go attack? So. All right, so let's roll those dice, see what you get. Ooh, you got five hearts. So you could give yourself back six health or you could re-roll and try to attack me for damage. What do you want to do? I'm hearts. You want to keep all the hearts and get six life back? All right, so you go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're up to 48 now, yeah. okay? All right, so now it's my turn. I get a combat point. I'm gonna draw a card. Hey, we both got three. Yeah, we both got three now. <laughs> Let me see if I can play anything out of my hand. I'm gonna spend all three of my points to go down to zero, and I'm gonna play this Exploding Arrow level three. So that increases my attack. All right, now I'm gonna attack you, okay? So we're gonna roll. And I've got a bow, bow, foot, foot, moon. Hmm, that's a little bit of everything, but I do have a three, four, five, six, which is a small straight. Let's see if we can get that two to get a large straight. Got a five, got a six, 
got a five. So I got a small straight. So I'm gonna hit you for seven damage, but you get to roll to defend. So roll three dice. And you, oh, how many hearts did you get? I got two. Two? And What's two four. plus two? Two plus two is four. So if I hit you for seven, but you prevent four, what's seven minus four? Seven minus four, no, I don't What's know. What's seven? Minus one, two, three, four. How many are left? Three. So you take three damage. You're at 45. Mm -hmm. And now you are entangled. So this means on your next turn, you only get to roll twice instead of three times, okay? And then it goes away. So at the start of your turn, you get a combat point. So go up to four. Yeah. And then you get to draw a card. Draw a card. From your deck. Oh, nice. Or one card. Yep. Yeah. Now look at your hand and see if you've got any blue cards that you want to play to upgrade your attacks. So you've got smack level three. So that's going to cost you three. So you got to go down three points. One, two, three. And oh, then you put I that over that smack, which is right there. So now when you roll a lot of swords, you do more damage. Okay. So now you're ready to attack me? Um, yeah. All right, let's give it a go. Remember, you only get two rolls this time. So there's one roll. So you've got two swords, two hearts, and a pow. And you've got two, four, six. So what do you want to try to do? You got one more roll. You gonna reroll everything? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Oh, so that time you got two stuns and two swords. So you get to do your sturdy blow. Sturdy blow. Because see right there, there's two swords and two stuns. So that you do four damage and, and that says undefendable. I cannot block it. So I go down four points. Good job, buddy. Now it's my turn. I'm going to go up a combat point. I'm going to draw a card. I'm not really seeing anything good in my hand right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack you, okay? Oh yeah, that went away at the end of your turn. The entangled goes away. So next turn you get three rolls again. All right, here's my first roll. All right, I've got a lot of arrows and one foot. Two, three, hmm. If, how about we'll do the, if I do um, orange one, so just put it away. Do if you play the orange ones? You can discard the orange ones just to get combat points if you want to, but they help you to re-roll dice. Let me see which ones you have, just so I can tell you when to do. So that lets you do one more re-roll. That lets you um, re-roll one die, up to two dice, and that lets you re-roll a defense. So if you had a bad defensive roll, you can re-roll, okay? So you might wanna save those for later. All right, so I've got a bunch of bows and a foot. Uh, I'm going to reroll these. All right, now I've got a five and a six. It's still not really helping me. Reroll these three and see what happens. That was a five and a six. Ooh, I got three sixes and one bow. I get to do the exploding arrow. So the exploding arrow says I roll all five dice. So I'm gonna roll all the dice again. Don't put the dice in your mouth. But, um, deal three plus three times every bow. So there's one bow, two bows, three bows. So that's nine, 12, 14, and you are blind and entangled. So I'm hitting you for 14 damage. So you get to roll three to defend. You got one heart, so you take 12 damage. So you're gonna go down to 33, okay? It's your turn. Okay. So now you're blind and entangled. So the entangled means you only get one, one re-roll. Um, when you're blind, you have to roll a die to see if you hit me or not, okay? So first thing, get a combat point. Yeah, combat point, I'm back to two. Yep, and you get to draw a card. 
Yeah, the, from your deck. These are. This is what's in your hand right now. So, so. You want me to see what that card does for you? This one says feeling good. You can heal damage. You roll three dice and you get to heal any hearts that you rolled. Um, so you can do that now or save it for later. You want to do it now? Um, now. Okay, so you pick three of your dice. He's doing feeling good. You roll three dice. So just keep three of them and roll those. So any hearts you get, plus one. Okay, roll them. There's one of those there. Okay, so you didn't get any hearts, but you still get the one because it says heal one plus hearts. So you go up one life, you go up to 34, okay? Now, do you want to play any other cards or do you just want to attack? Um, play cards. We'll see, I think you've just got all your orange ones still, so those don't help us right now. So you're gonna go ahead and go Why attack? Can't do orange you can do orange cards, but all of those cards help your re-rolls. Okay, go ahead. Oh. So. Ooh, Kenny, this is really good. Look at this. You've got one, two, three, four. Now re-roll that one and try to get a five. You get one re-roll because you're entangled. Looking for a five. Oh, we didn't get it. It's okay though. So this goes away now. Now, since you're blind, you have to roll a die. Roll that die again. Yeah, All right, on a one or a two, your your roll has your attack has no effect. So that doesn't hit me because you were blind. Okay, but now this goes away too. All right, so now it's my turn. Okay, it's okay. It's a game, right? You'll get me next time. Can you do attack me? Um, don't. Okay, go potty. So don't, don't end the video because okay. I'll wait for you. It's been, Just go quickly. It's been a while. Okay. Already. So don't do it because I will be. Okay, just hurry up. Be mad if you do that. We'll take the time during this brief intermission for a potty break to show you some of the other characters in the game. First off there, we're looking at the Pyromancer with some of his abilities and his counters. Coming up next, we have the Paladin, a very defensive and creative character to play. Followed up lastly here by the Shadow Thief. Likes to play in the shadows and come out and get you in the end. Did you end the video? Nope. Okay, good. Because I, I told you I will be mad at you. You did. All right, so it was my turn. I went up a combat point. I drew a card. Um, I don't see anything I'm going to play out of my hand still. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So I'm okay there. So I'm going to go and attack. All right, so I got feet, 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 feet. All feet. I think I've ever, that's a lot of feet. Feet, 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 feet. All right, I got a four and a five. Let's start going for a straight. Uh, we got a one and a two, so we need a three. Oh, we didn't get it. So I got three bows that hits you for three damage, but you get to defend. And guess what? But I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna tell you I was gonna roll my dice already when when you're doing stuff for your defense. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll them. Got three damage coming your way. Okay, no hearts, so you still take the three damage. So, so you go down to 31. Two swords, one pal. Yep, yeah, but remember on your defense, you're looking for the hearts, right? All right, so it's back to you. So, yep. Yeah. And you get to get a combat point and draw a card. I got three combat points. Yep. Yeah. And then you draw a card. What'd you get there? I got a blue card. Okay. Well, that doesn't help you because that, that removes status effects. Like if I make you go blind or something again, so you're going to want to keep that for later. So you're going to go to your attack, right? Yes. All right. Roll your dice and let's see what you got. All right. So Ooh. Sword, sword, then sword, sword, then a heart. 
right. So you got four swords and a heart, so that would deal eight damage to me. Or you could start to go for a straight because you've got a one, a two, and a four. Do you want to re-roll those and try to get a three and a five? Um, nope. You want to keep the swords? Yep. All right, then re-roll for one more sword. You got two chances to get another sword. Oh, you got it. Do you want to gamble? So right now you've got three swords. Five swords, but three are the same number. If you get four of the same number, I cannot block. Wait, or like... So right now you're doing 10 damage and I can try to block. Now you've got five swords. I want to do 10 damage. You want to do 10 damage? Okay, well, I'm going to try to block. I did not get two feet, but I do hit you for one damage because I got two bows. Okay, so you take one and I take 10. So what do I get? 31 going down one would be 30, right? Okay, so it's my turn. I get a combat point. I'm going to draw a card. I am going to spend two combat points. I have one left to upgrade my covered shot to level two. And then I'm going to attack. All right. I got one, two, three. So I got the start of a straight. I'm going to go with these. Oh, I got five bows. I think I'm going to try to hit you for seven. Oh, you got a heart. So you you heal two damage. So you go down five. So you go to 25, right? What do you get? I'm at 31. Well, no, wait. Do I shoot it? No, that doesn't hit me back. You When you roll for defense, you heal damage. So it helps keep you alive. Oh, so it heals. Damage. Yeah, it heals the damage. Okay, so it's your turn. So get a combat point and draw a card. Yes. The combat point? I'm on four. Oh, you could play a big card. Depends on what you draw. See, see if you can get a good card out of your deck. Draw a card. Ooh, that upgrades your defense. That's a good one. So you spend three combat points. Okay. Okay. And you put it over your green card there. Now your thick skin is level two. One, two, three, and one All again. Right. So now you're gonna... Hey, we're tied with combat points. We are tied with combat points. Now it's your turn to attack. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got... Heart? Oh, you've got four swords and they're all the same number. So that's undefendable. You want to try to reroll that heart and get another sword? Mm -hmm. It's 10 damage and I cannot block it. Yes! Because you got four twos. If you have four of the same number, I can't block. I'm down to 21. <laughs> that was a big hit. I'm on 25. Yep, I go up to two combat points and I'm drawing a card. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade, well, I can't do that. I am going to have to discard a card to get a point. And then I'm gonna play my level two block. <clears throat> all right, all right. We had a little camera difficulty. It didn't record the last part of the game, so we tried to rewind back to the state where we were. I had just played my level two block card. I'm at 21 health. Kenny's at 25, and it was my turn to attack, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to roll to attack, and we got a three and a four and a one. We're going to go for a straight, see if we can get a two and a five. Got a five. Need a two now. Did not get the two. Did not get the two. All right, Kenny, you got three points of damage coming your way. You get to roll to defend. Defend. Yep, you know the deal. Roll three. Defend. Remember, you want to roll zero hearts. Why? Because I don't want you to defend. Why do I want... I'm joking. Ah, you get to defend again. <laughs> you defended everything. I defended... You heal four damage. And guess what? Five plus five equals ten. Five plus five does equal ten. But since you rolled two hearts, you heal four. So you basically gain one life. All right, your turn. Get a combat point and draw a card. Combat. Combat point and draw a card. I got three. Yep, you're up to three. Draw a card and see what you get. 
I popped it. You gotta be it. careful with those, buddy. They're kind of bending up there. All right, draw a card. What you get? Oh, try, try again. I'll let you do a re-roll. All right, see what you got in your hand. You want to play any of these cards? Um, you get. Shoot. You want to play this one? That gives you a super big attack. It does twenty damage. Yes, I want. Woo! I don't want you to be able to play that card though. So, how many combat points did that cost you? Two. Um, so you go down to one, and then you play it right here so that you remember you've got it. So now you can do twenty damage if you get that attack. Now, what you might want to try to do to do that is play this card, Kenny, but you need three combat points, so you would have to discard two cards. Um, this card... Which one is the This card? is the one you want to keep. It costs three, so you need to discard two of these. Um, I would discard these two. Okay. All right. So we're going to discard those two cards, and now you got three combat power. Now roll those dice. Oh, those guys. <laughs> you want to try to get a large straight. If you get a large straight, that could almost kill me. All right. Oh, Kenny. How did you roll so good? <laughs> You've got a three, four, five, six. All you need to do is re-roll this four and make it a two. Oh. All you need to do is get a two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me see if I've got any defense here. <laughs> I don't have any good defense cards, but at least I get to roll to defend. So you're hitting me for 20. Yes. Yes. I'm going to yes. roll to defend. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so lucky. I got two feet. So I only take 10 damage. So I go to 11. You take five damage because it's a reckless attack so you take five damage and i did roll two bows so you take two damage from my defense so you're at 19 and i am at 11 okay so now it's my turn get a combat point combat point draw a card combat point i'm just gonna do my combat point already i'm gonna spend just wait because you gotta no you wait till it's your turn because then we might forget I'm going to spend three combat points to play that. I'm going to go ahead and go for my attack. All right. So we got a one, two, three. That's the start of a straight. Let's keep that going. Oh, got a one and a six again. I just remember that I did move it. All right. Kenny, I got a small straight. So guess what? Seven damage is coming your way, buddy. You get to roll three dice to try to defend. And you're going to be entangled next round. And blind. Unless you roll two hearts. So roll, no, just entangled this time. Roll your, one, two, three. Okay, so you didn't get any hearts, so you're going to take seven damage and you're entangled. So you're so down to 12. That, mean? that means you only get two rolls when you attack me. Two. Yep. All right, so it's your turn to get a combat point and draw a card. Combat point. All right, let's see what you get, bub. Don't forget to draw a card. You might get something good. Ooh, that lets you roll. That's like in Hamilton. One more time. No, it's one last time. Isn't it one last time in the, in the show? Uh, one last time. Yes. But this is one more time. All right. So roll and see if you can get me. Gonna roll for your attack. Oh wait, you've got some good combos in here. So you need to, you should discard one card so you can get up to five. Cause you've got a couple of cards here that could really do some damage, okay? All right, roll your dice and see what happens. I didn't count. It's okay, it fell out of your hand. All right, let's see what you get. Two, oh, Two. did you? Yes. Gosh, you almost rolled a large straight on your first roll. Look, you got one, two, three, four. Four. If you can get a five, you can almost kill me. Six. Six. Got one more reroll still. Oh, no, you are entangled. So. 
Do you want to spend one to roll this die? Mm. If you spend one combat power, you can re-roll. Re-roll that die and see if you can get a five. It's okay. Four. You got four. So you know what's good about that? Spend two, three, four, five. You remember this card? Spend two to say, get some. Say it. Say, get some. Get some. All right. So you're going to spend two combat power. Now you roll all your dice. And any sword that you roll does extra damage. Okay, so roll them. If you can get three swords, you win. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> um. Did you get any swords? It's okay. You still hit me for eight. So look at this. Watch this, Kenny. Look. One, two. two. I have three life left. Because <laughs> I couldn't defend that. You have a mighty blow. It's undefendable. <sighs> Only got three life, guys. One combat point. One card. I have 12. Yes, you do. Um, I don't have anything good here. I'm going to discard this card to get a combat point. Here comes my attack, Kenny. Concussion happens when you do some of your other attacks. Um, the stun happens on other attacks too, like over there. All right. What else? That's called stun. Oh, Kenny. I got a small straight almost. I got a three, five, six. I'm going for my four. I got a six and a five. That's not what I want. No! All right, I got two bows, two sixes, and a foot. I don't think that does... That does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Nada. Wait, you spit. Yeah, that just came out of my mouth, didn't it? <laughs> what does that Nana mean? Nada means nothing. All right, Kenny, get a combat point and draw a card. Um, this could be it for the Moon Elf. Okay. Don't forget your combat point. Combat. All right, now draw a card. Ooh, that's a good one, too. So you've got three combat points. Um, you're going to hold on to those two cards. Roll your dice. See if you can take me out. Mm. got to do three damage. You hit me for three damage, and I'm dead, bro. All right, so what'd you wait, get? Okay, so. Three hearts, all three. So you got a one and a two. That's the start of a tr straight. You want to reroll those hearts? Those really don't help you right now. Well, hearts defend you. Yeah, but you don't want to defend. You're trying to kill me. I've only got three life left. Mm. So yeah, if you can get a three, keep these swords. If you can get a three and a four, you kill me. You got two rolls. Go for it. What'd you get? Um, a four. Oh, you got the four. All you need to do is get a three now. Okay. One more roll, and it's game over for the moon elf. You didn't get it, but guess what? What? How many damage does four swords do? Um, four swords, how many damage does that do? Eight. Yep, so I roll to defend. Eight. 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 I got two Eight. feet, so I guess what? I get to block half the damage. So what's eight divided by two is four? Let's see. One, One two, two, three. And I'm at zero. No, the barbarian knocks out the moon elf. Good game. Give me five, bro. Ah! It's okay. And this is how much health I have. You, you still had 12 health. Yeah. Good game. Yeah, good All game. All right. So that's Dice Throne. Um, you can play it head to head or in a group table setting. Yeah, There's some more we, things that come into play. We, uh, we saw that we so like, my dad, we cut it off. Sometimes. Yeah, the video cut off. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. So, did you like the game? Yep. Would you play it again? Yep. Awesome. And Do you like rolling dice and doing damage? I like doing damage, but um, dice is the, the feeding. 
Yeah, it defeated and me. So I like dice. And I did none of these. Well, you did a concussion to me at the beginning of the game, remember? A concussion? Yeah, you played a card that did a concussion at the very beginning. So I like Dice Throne. It's fun. Um, I can play it with my five-year-old. Obviously, I was helping a lot here, but have a good time. It teaches math skills, and we get to have fun. And, like, remember, um, like, click at the subscribe button and tell something else that you need to do. Yeah, so if you do us a favor, hit that like button below, subscribe like Kenny said, and ring the bell and get notifications when we post new videos. Uh, let us know what you think about Dice Throne, if you'd like to see us play any other games. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining us at the table, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Yeah, remember you do that, so subscribe and the bell. Yeah, do that. Subscribe and hit the bell and hit the like button. Thank you. Bye! Remember do the like button.